Hello, my name is Jane Goldman, Dr. Jane Goldman. I'm reader in English literature and creative writing at Glasgow. Here's some information I hope applicants will find helpful. If you already hold an offer to study with us, then congratulations. We look forward to welcoming you to Glasgow very soon. Our graduates in English literature at Glasgow University can closely analyze and critique written and spoken texts within literary, historical and linguistic contexts. They can practice and understand verbal creativity. They are expert in clear, effective communication. They are skilled in scholarly research techniques and they're proficient in handling complex texts and ideas while understanding their historical and contemporary connections. All of these are crucial and highly transferable skills. Glasgow's is one of the oldest English literature departments in the world and very highly rated in global and national rankings. We have a sizable body of staff with outstanding reputations in their fields. Our research-led teaching delivers a wide-ranging, cutting-edge programme, which is currently actively committed to decolonizing the curriculum. We have a vibrant community of students active in all sorts of extracurricular literary groups and events. So here's a reminder of our entry requirements. Please do check the website if you're in any doubt. Meanwhile, all those A's and B, 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 B's remind me of avant-garde sound poetry. And here is some avant-garde sound poetry. Thumbs bow -wo. Ta za u pagif quie u This is an overview of the degree structure. English is one of three subjects you take in first and second year sometimes just two in second year. Then you focus in third and fourth years on single or joint honours in English. So this is the four year structure for English literature. Year one hones your skills in poetry and poetics, fiction and narratology. Year two explores literature via two key critical concepts, eco-criticism, and theories of the body. Year three of honours, the first year of honours, has two core courses, plus then you choose from a range of period and concept courses. Year four honours, you choose from a range of specialist topics and undertake an independently researched dissertation in literary criticism or creative writing. Here we have examples from years one and two of the set reading. 1A set reading is the Norton Anthology of Poetry and the Poetry Toolkit, a critical guide to studying poetry by Rian Williams. Now in 1B, there's a list of 10 novels, starting with Mary Shelley's Frankenstein and ending with Shola von Reinhold's award-winning contemporary novel, Lot. And we're very proud that Shola is actually a graduate from our MLit program in creative writing and has gone on to write this award-winning novel. So if you want to read in advance any of these works, then please go ahead. Uh, I also recommend the Norton Anthology of Theory and Criticism, which will serve you well throughout the degree. Here are further details and some examples uh, from the honours years. You'll see there are creative 
writing options in both years here. And all of these modules draw on staff specialisms. So if you want to check out what those are, look at our profiles and publications at these two websites at the bottom of the slide. Uh, and over to the right are four examples of books published by Glasgow staff in literary criticism, literary theory, and creative writing. So how relevant to the real world is the study of English and creative writing? Well, very, but here are two very influential writers with very different world views answering that question. Ezra Pound declares, literature is news that stays news, and Audre Lorde declares, poetry is not a luxury, it is a vital necessity for our existence. And all our courses explore why that might be. It saddens me how relevant Virginia Woolf's essay of 1940 is today. In Thoughts on Peace in an Air Raid, she speaks personally from the position of an unarmed civilian, one of millions of bodies she recognizes yet to be born, who will lie in the same darkness and hear the same death rattle overhead. Sadly, we witness this tragedy every day on our news. This essay by Wolf remains vital reading. So why study English literature? My short answer is for the sheer pleasure of it, or the sheer hell of it. Um, if with Gertrude Stein, you like anything a word can do, then this is your subject. Plus, you'll be highly employable. So imagine Judgment Day with Virginia Woolf arriving at Heaven's Gates with our books under our arms and the Almighty turns to St. Peter and says, these need no reward. We have nothing to give them here. They have loved reading. And remember too, after all your trials, to gain entry, university life is not all about metrics and marks and instrumentalism. You have four years to grow and develop your intellect. Immerse yourself in this rewarding discipline. That includes learning from failure and experiment too. And you'll come out of it a highly rounded individual who's also highly skilled and employable. I leave you with the reward of this poem by Colin Hurd, my colleague in creative writing at Glasgow. You really love art. It's that simple. And please, if you have any further questions, please email me at the address you see on this slide. Thank you for your attention.